Hi everyone, good morning. So I just came back from my walk a little while ago. I walk pretty much every day or at least five times a week now, just trying to get the body moving and a little bit of exercise in. And I like to do it in the mornings, especially because it gets super hot in the day here. Um, but I'm ready to make my first meal of, meal of the day, which is gonna be a green smoothie. And I generally make this probably every other day. I try to do a green smoothie. For today's smoothie, I'm gonna add some spinach, some kale, some green powder, frozen strawberries, and a half of a frozen banana, pineapple, and some almond butter. And I can't forget my oat milk. I usually either use oat or almond, whatever I can find in the grocery store when I go. So let's start making our smoothie. And one thing about, fun fact about my kale, this is actually from my Aero Garden, which I started growing again. I bought an Aero Garden back in 2020 and used it for a little while and then forgot about it and then used it and now it's bringing me some delicious kale. The blender of choice that I like to, that I've been using actually for probably now, I don't know, three or four years is a Vitamix. And this is one, probably one of the more basic ones that you could find at Costco. I'll put a link in the description of which one I got, but literally I love this thing. I've used it every other day and I swear by all these high speed vendors because they really just do the job for sure. Really delicious, very sweet, and yeah. It's what I like to drink in the morning, especially because I try to get um, a lot of dark leafy greens in, and I feel like this is a really good way to make sure I get my leafy greens in. Currently, right now, I'm 30, I'm 34 weeks pregnant, and six more weeks to go, which seems very surreal. Uh, feeling a little anxious, I guess, and just you know like i feel like i'm going into something like a world of the unknown like of how i'm going to react how i'm going to be with the baby how reed's going to be and how we're going to be as a family how we're going to function so so many thoughts and questions are going through my head right now um but yeah just taking it day by day but really enjoying overall feeling good just now starting to feel a little bit more anxiety and a little bit more anxious because of it but Something like this is delicious and it's great to start the, to start the day with. So it's a little bit later in the morning and I'm getting a little bit hungry um, because the smoothie held me down for about two hours. So it's about 10.30 now. And I wanted to just have a, sh a small snack before I make lunch later on. So I'm gonna be having some papaya, which I eat the other half yesterday, but uh, I, I've been loving papaya. I don't know if it's a pregnancy thing, but I just, I've been enjoying papaya recently and I've also been really liking Greek yogurt and I said this uh, in a previous video but up until recently I've been having coconut yogurt but I find that the Greek yogurt right now it keeps me more full and it just um, I feel like it's what my body needs I guess at this stage of pregnancy so I'm actually gonna put this in the papaya and I think it'll be a good combination and then I also wanted to top my <laughs> my snack with some blueberries here. I'm just gonna put some blueberries on top. And then the last thing that I wanted to try and add in my papaya parfait is just a little bit of granola. And I like this brand a lot, this Love Crunch brand. I usually get like the chocolate, um, not usually the peanut butter one, but I'm just gonna put a little bit on just for some crunch. 
And this is really delicious by itself. I try not to use too much because I know it has extra sugar that I probably don't need. I don't know. This last trimester of pregnancy, I've really been craving sweets, like sugar, ice cream, all the creamy goodness of life. I'll put this one in the description box because I know you can get this from Amazon too. We made it really good together. I would suggest if you have papayas on hand and you want to make it out of a bowl, you should try this recipe. It's good. That was delicious. That was a really good and very hearty mid-morning snack. Okay, so we're back for another meal and it's lunchtime now and um, I'm getting a little bit hungry. It's about 12.30 and so today I'm gonna be making a uh, like a pesto English or an English muffin, pesto English muffin pizza. And if you hear the noise outside, by the way, they are cutting the grass. So I apologize if you do hear that. Um, but basically this is a super, simple and easy recipe and all it really is going to have is a whole wheat english muffin and some spinach some tomatoes some cheese and if you watched my last vlog we went to tillamook i love tillamook cheese and um, a little bit of pesto and i've never tried this one before but this is a napoleon basil pesto so i'm just going to put all these ingredients on I'm gonna put it in my toaster oven today uh, and then it's just gonna be a very quick and simple and easy lunch. Also, I just wanted to butter, I forgot this step, but I wanted to butter my bread before putting on the pesto. It'll just add a little bit of saltiness and you know, I mean, who doesn't love butter on their bread? Here are our pesto pizzas. We're gonna put them in our toaster oven now. So now it's time for lunch and I'm excited to try my pesto pizza, English muffin pizza. And I just mixed some um, strawberries, lemon, and um, what's it called? Carbonated water together, just to give my water a little bit more of a kick. Because literally this has been my drink of choice. And I also added some hummus on the side with some carrots just to give a little bit more protein to my diet. I heard in the third trimester too, like you're supposed to eat a lot of protein and a little bit more fat because that's when the baby is growing and putting more fat on their bodies. So I'm trying to be very cognizant of that. very good especially if you like that basil flavor but it just adds a nice twist to like a, I mean this could also be a snack because it's kind of a small it's a small meal basically but super quick um, with the toaster oven I started it off with the oven setting first then I baked it for about like seven or eight minutes and then I put it onto broil um, just so it could get that nice crisp top. 
super delicious. So it's later in the day now and I'm going to be preparing for dinner. And what I'm making tonight is gonna be a salmon salad with a salted and grilled salmon. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is just get all my vegetables ready and we're gonna prepare that first. So let's go. So for my lettuce, I'm actually going to be washing it in my salad spinner, which I really, really love. Um, this is just great because it takes away all of the water that accumulates when you wash lettuce and everything. Um, but it's just, yeah, I love this thing. I use it whenever we make salads. I'll leave a link in the description box below if you are interested in a salad spinner for yourself as well. But it's just great. So I'm just going to wash my lettuce. I like to put some veggie wash on it. And I'm gonna go to the sink and rinse it off. Okay, so when I put the veggie wash on my lettuce, I just kind of wanted to see what veggie wash is, as some of you don't know what veggie wash is. But basically, it removes wax from uh, from fruits and veggies, and it says it rids of pesticides and soil, and it easily cleans up the produce. So for things like lettuce, you kind of spray it into water like this, and then you just kind of let it sit for about 30 seconds and then you wash it off. The great thing about the salad spinner is you just put the lid on and then after your leaves are all wet and you wash them, just pump this thing and everything comes out dry and you can see all of the water that has come out which is pretty awesome and you can just dump this out. Okay, all my vegetables are cut and now I'm going to just prepare the sauce for our salmon salad. For our salmon salad sauce, we're going to be using some olive oil, some shoyu or soy sauce, some rice vinegar, some brown sugar, and some salt and a dash of sesame oil. So I'm just going to mix it all together and see how it tastes. And I'm sure a sauce like this, it's really to your liking uh, because Everybody has a different preference and you can make it however you want. I'm just gonna mix it all together. Dash of the sesame oil. I smell the sesame oil. Mmm, it's good. So right now I'm just getting our egg and our somen ready. The somen that I'm using today is the Hakubaku somen. So this is actually, it says it's made in Australia, but it's made the Japanese way. And my mom uses this brand, so I guess that's why I use this brand as well. But apparently it has a lot less sodium than other brands. So that's kind of why one of the reasons why she likes to use it and it does taste good um, and it is organic so that is what we're using today so I'm just going to make two um, two servings because Reed and I will both eat this dish and then I also um, just put some beat some egg so I'm going to also uh, do some try to do attempt to do some rolled egg in this pan.
All right, so the last thing we're gonna prepare for our Solvin salad is our salmon. And so for this salmon, we're going to bake it. I think I said grilled in the beginning, but I meant bake. We're gonna bake it. And basically what I did to the salmon, so I had to prepare the salmon yesterday. And so how I prepared it was I soaked it in sake for about 10 minutes. And then I salted both sides and I just left it in this container overnight. So in an air tight container and um, just kind of let the salmon dry out. And that's all we're going to be doing to the salmon. And so it's very, uh, so it's very easy. I set the oven to about 425 degrees and then we're going to bake it for 10 to 12 minutes. And this is wild salmon that I found and I always try to get wild salmon whenever I can over like farm salmon just because I know that there's more nutrients. Um, especially being pregnant, uh, I feel that I want more omega-3s and all of the um, all the fatty acids that the baby needs for her brain, de her brain development. So that's kind of why too I wanted to make a salmon for tonight's dinner. So we are going to try our somen salad and I have my husband here with me. If you're new to my channel, this is Reed and he just came home from work but it's perfect timing because we are dinner time. It's just like in Japan when the husband comes home and dinner is ready. That's not how it is every night by the way. <laughs> a lot of times Reed cooks and as a lot of you know he's actually a better cook than I am. We so. just need biru. I don't have biru. Anyway, you may try it first. Sure. Here's the sauce. So what do I do? You have to, well, there's oil in it, so you have to stir it. But I was telling Reed that this is like a perfect summer dish because it's great on a hot day. And in Hawaii right now, it's pretty hot. So uh, you can really have this cold. Um, and yeah, it, it works great. Okay, digging in looks good. Looks. Oh, sorry, can you move the water? Looks good. Looks fresh. Get some of the salmon and some carrots, some green onions. We'll try that. Hmm. It's very good. Yeah. And it's healthy for you. Hmm. No. Yeah. How's the sauce? Sauce is good. Tastes like so many sauce. Let's try the salmon, which I know you marinated overnight. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. yeah. It's good. Did you notice it cooked different because you put sake on it? Um, well, I just noticed that it gave it a more flavor. But basically, I think why it cooked a little bit differently is because I salted it overnight. So the salt took the water out. Really did take the water out, but it's so easy. Like I would make this recipe again. Mmm, good. Try my egg. I rolled it. Mmm, 
very tasty. Can you guess what I put in it? Sugar. No. What? Meeting and sake. Yeah? Close. Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. All right, so anyway, we're gonna finish our dinner. Thank you so much for watching uh, my what I eat in a day. I hope this gave you some ideas, especially for summer now and what I've been eating in the third trimester of pregnancy, 34 weeks now. How do you feel as we get closer to parenthood? It's getting there. Are you nervous? Anxious. Yeah, I feel the same way too, for sure. But anyway, I uh, hope you like this video and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye.